Carl, you're up. Hey, Mr. Bell, how you doing? Good, how you doing, Carl? Uh, no, hey, Carl. Bad. Hey, how you feeling? Who just said hey to me? <laughs> that was Roger. Roger. How you doing, Roger? My name is Carl Lentz. Uh, yeah, I got an easy question for you. You sound like a real nice man and really uh, believe in what you believe, so I, I go easy on those folks. But I, <laughs> oh, no, you, you sound really sincere, so God bless you. So uh, I got an easy question. Though. When, when it comes to property, I have a really hard time when anybody tries to say that any form of entity, a gov another man, has some sort of control over another man's property without a proper claim. Well, Sorry. a man is property. It's not just a control over his property. You are their property. Okay, well, even you are. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go biblical on you folks, because I know even when your child is born, God cannot do what he has already done. He, if you have a child, he cannot reclaim that as his property ever for all eternity. So where could a government have the capacity to believe that it could claim a proper person to them? Well, because they've got a system of law that they've massaged and manipulated and they've implemented. Now, you want to talk and bring this biblical, let's go back to Revelation. And if you go back to Revelation 18, is Carl, right? And you go down, you know, it says, Babylon, O Babylon, the great has fallen in an hour, and the merchants of the earth wail, because they can no longer sell their gold, their silver, their iron, their cinnamon. And there's a list of about 20 things there in that list in Revelation 18. And the very last thing it says, and bodies and souls of men. You okay, tell well, me they don't know them? There's a, difference. there's a difference between men and man. If you really know the Bible, I don't want to go around and around people, but if somebody knows about the, uh, the Bible, Talmud, you'll know the complete difference between man. The Hebrews were considered man, and all the Gentiles were considered men. So if you want to go... That's literally. because they got you. And that's right. because they got you through this Babylonian code that they've been massaging for 5,000 years in a contractual obligation under the Babylonian code where you're considered their property. That's where all this came from. Yeah, a man are considered the property if you want to go on the Hebrew Bible, but not a man. Okay? And that's what I'm trying to say to you folks. If you want to actually go around around me with the difference between a man and mankind and men, I'll do an hour, but I don't want to do that. All I want to try to say, no government has a right to claim me as their property. A government doesn't have rights. A government has a charter or a contract or a constitution which clearly defines its parameters which it interacts and intercourses with those of the public or those That's of correct. the public. So when, and you're when correct. They, when they cross the, and they when they when they cross that threshold, what gives them the right? Because they have no rights. Only man has rights. So they, they did it they did it in bankruptcy court because every country in the world has bankruptcy laws and they threw the corporation, the government, into bankruptcy and receivership. That's why the Secretary of but the Treasury and the Attorney General are both paid by the International Monetary Fund. They're not paid by the United States government. But if I'm not a subject or employee of Coca Cola, why can I possibly kill us if they're bankrupt? Well, it doesn't matter to you, it just matters to the people that have done this from above. Okay, it matters to you to have been into the law that they've imposed on you because of it, I would think. I'm open with you. Um, this contract. This, this, isn't, this isn't France. This isn't Italy. This isn't a Napoleonic state. This is not a code land. This is a common law nation. It can't it's not now. It's it's not, there, that, system, that system is still right there, and you can access it if your parents were natural-born Americans. All you've got to do is this process. You can access it. It's right there. It's not closed off to you. It's just because you don't know it and understand it. All you have to do is make a claim before a court and just demand a trial by jury, and now you're in a common law court. You're not operating under statutes. Yeah. You don't have to bring any codes in to move your claim. You don't have to say this relies upon California code. Well, 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 the I, well, I, all all yeah. I have to tell you is good luck doing that, and I hope you have a lot of success. I think the people that have tried it have not. Hey, Roger, I, there's a question.